Hello everyone, this is H2Acon here from Online Nights, and I'm here today with a flood map feature for you guys. This is Home Defense on Quarantine. Now, this was actually made by me. Um, I know that I'm normally a minigame forger, but I thought that I should try have a go at making a flood map, and this is what I ended up with. So, um, I'd really appreciate if you'd leave a comment just telling me how you think it ended up. Um, I'm quite happy with it, but I'm interested to see what you guys think. So this is a, basically the theme is a sort of a quarantine neighborhood where the military doesn't want the flood getting out. So all the humans have to sort of hide in their houses and try not to get infected. And then so there's a small neighborhood with four different houses. And then here at the flood spawn, you see there's a miniature version of the map. And so after a couple of seconds, just to give the humans time to repair, teleporters will spawn in. And if you stand on that red block, you get sent to the red house, blue to the blue house, and so on. You get the idea. And that just allows the flood to pick where they want to go and just makes it easier for them. So this is a holdout map, or defend the house, whatever way you want to classify it. Basically, get indoors, close the door, barricade yourself in is the general idea. So now, this map was heavily inspired by Necro Street from Halo Reach, which is a map made by Insomniac, who is a really good um, forger. That map was no exception. I'll probably link, uh, I'll probably link it to his video here. Go check it out. It's a really good map. And so I took a lot of inspiration from that. So you got the same sort of four houses with two doors opposite and windows here, so you can sort of see other people getting massacred, which is, that's always fun. And then you've got these pillars in the middle as line of sight breakers. And so really what you want to do is uh, barricade yourselves in and if the flood try and break down the doors, kill him and cl close the damn door again. So like I said, there are four houses which are all structurally, structurally, that's the word, structurally identical, except for at the back where they've got different things. You had so a barbecue, then a hot tub, and here behind the gold house you've got a swing set, and behind the gold house is also a tree house. So I was sort of taking the idea of there being kids there and just sort of running with that idea. And then behind greenhouse here, you've got that rock garden to meditate or whatever you want to do with it. I sort of ran out of ideas. And so there, as well as hiding in a house, you can also jump into a warthog, which is parked out on the street. Now, that can be quite effective. Unfortunately, in this gameplay, um, my gunner and passenger weren't really on the ball. They weren't really paying attention. So you see here, my gunner gets wiped out because he wasn't looking or listening when I was shouting out zombies straight ahead. And so we ended up getting taken out. But the hog can do can be quite effective and the road's quite open so you can you can sort of do donuts around there for a while. So as you saw here, I'm playing as the flood and I teleported I picked the gold teleporter, obviously got to the top of the gold house, jump in, kill that one guy who decided to hold out on his own, which was not very smart. And then I quickly go in here just to check if there's anyone hiding in here, and there's not. So then I cross the road, and I go to attack, where I can see loads of humans in the red house. So I try a frontal assault, that doesn't end well. So I, so I realize there's loads of people guarding the front door, so what do I do? I go through the teleporter, and I go for the back door. Now, the back doors never seem to be that well guarded. You see here, I break in, I get a triple kill before they're able to take me out. So, you know, if you're holding on house, you have to pay attention to both entrances. And that's a dynamic which I really enjoyed about this map, is that you really need to divide up your team to guard both entrances. So it encourages a lot of teamwork. So the other players I want to thank for playing the map. Uh, there were some other game nights, some other times we played this. Unfortunately, I wasn't recording then. So I didn't get that list of players, but you know who you are, so thank you guys. And so this is just some footage now from one of the later rounds where we tried to get almost, we tried to get basically every player we could into one house and hold out. And that worked well for quite a long time. You see the time is normally four minutes and we're down to, I think, I can't see it from this tiny window, but it's about a minute left. So we're doing really well. Unfortunately, eventually the zombies just swarmed us and we started running out of ammo and we got taken out, which was sad. But anyway, if you want to get your map featured, please click the link entitled The Honorary Night System at the end of this video. I've been H2Acon from Online Nights. Please like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And I am about to get killed by Flood.